Hello, everybody. It's Father Edward here, and happy to share with you a story about a nun or a religious sister. I know sometimes we use those words interchangeably, but her story is being told in a new documentary called uh, With This Light. And it's the story of a, of a religious sister down in Central America. And I have Jessica and Nicole, who are a part of the film uh, and kind of the background with it, producer and financier of it. And uh, so grateful that they're joining me to share a little bit about Sister Maria Rose. And Hello, Father Edward. This is Jessica Sarowitz. And um, I'd just like to begin by saying um, that uh, we did this movie with this light because uh, Sister Maria Rosa Legault is considered the Mother Teresa of Honduras. And, and um, really because she did such impactful mission work and she really embodied that uh, radical Jesus that uh, you know people really love um, in terms of you know boots on the ground, sometimes getting yourself in a little bit of trouble, but um, always doing uh, what's best to uh, be of service to the most vulnerable, and uh, always for the greater glory of God. Um, and one of her things that she was really most uh, known for was her ministry with uh, raising over 87,000 orphan, abandoned, and abused children in Honduras. So is Sister Maria Rose, is she still among us, or uh, has she passed on to eternal life? Yes, so unfortunately, she has passed on. Uh, she died in 2020. Of COVID, she was actually continuing her ministry during COVID and um, and contracted it and went to the hospital a few times, but always wanted to go back to serving the people in her community, and so she um, she did, and uh, she ended her life in 2020 um, doing what she spent her life doing. And so, why did you think it was necessary to bring this movie? or this documentary about her life. Obviously, you filmed uh, about her life uh, before she died. So now here we are about three years later and uh, the, the movie's coming to, to theaters. People are going to be able to see it and learn more about her. So uh, what was the process maybe of choosing to do it um, and to begin the process, get the interviews in and then uh, to actually bring it to completion now? Yeah, let me begin and then I'll let uh, Nicole answer uh, around more of the filmmaker process. But why make this film? Why make this documentary about Sister's Life? It, and the reason is because <clears throat> she was such an impactful um, leader, spiritual leader. And um, not only was she so impactful in Honduras, but she was also impactful internationally. And um, for example, um, in the United States, uh, she received an honorary degree from Marquette University, wow. and um, really because um, she had a profound impact uh, on the university club system, um, because Global Brigades was one of the first sites, um, which is a university club system, the first site in Honduras of Global Brigades was in Honduras, and this was uh, because Sister was one of the co-founders. Um, and it is a university club system now that is in uh, over 100 universities, student-led, um, where they do uh, mission trips uh, that are of a holistic nature. And um, so public health, uh, medical brigades, economic, um, and other sort of, uh, you know, services that they do un under student mission trips. Um, so, you know, right there and then she also received a another um honorary degree from a university in canada saint um uh what was the university of saint francis xavier uh and uh there's another nonprofit out there that is uh working to do trips down to honduras as well and they raise funds for a lot of sisters programs and works and so yes. why now bring it to, to the theaters and tell the story and put everything together? Sure. So we, um, you know, Jessica call, called me because she had had a long personal relationship with sister and I did not know who she was, which kind of now that I know what she's done boggles my mind. Um, but I'm sure I'm in the, 
you know, a lot, a lot of people are in a situation that I was five years ago. And we wanted to make sure that, you know, she was getting older at the time and we wanted to make sure that people knew her legacy and all the amazing works that she had done, she had devoted her life to doing. Um, and also show, you know, tell the story of a real female hero from Central America. And we got down there and we wanted to also show how her work was so impactful. And so that's why we decided to tell her story and interweave it with the story of two girls who are in her programs, who are con coincidentally named Maria and Rosa. We did not plan that. Mm -hmm. um, but by interweaving their three stories, we were really able to show that sister's work wasn't just in the past, that her legacy isn't the past, but really her legacy is the people whose lives she's changed over 70 years of service. And so we felt that this, you know, was was a wonderful time to do that. We wanted to capture her while she was still alive, while she was still active doing her work. Um, unfortunately, she did pass, so she wasn't be able to be on this journey with us as we put it, bring it into theaters. But we really hope that people are inspired by the film, um, get a little bit of joy from the film, get a little bit of hope from the film, and want to follow in her footsteps, either by actively working in, you know, in Honduras to help continue her, her mission or in their own lives and in their own communities you know, following their faith and helping their fellow man and woman. One of the things you mentioned was uh, that she was the Mother Teresa of Honduras. One of you mentioned that in the very beginning. And so, uh, of course, Mother Teresa, St. Teresa of Calcutta, she's been elevated to the altars of the church. I know that uh, Sister Maria Rose has only been gone for three years, but, you know, sometimes there's already this immediate response of, you know, she must be a saint, Maybe people want to see her a saint. So do you, do you think the Catholic Church would ever begin the process of wanting to beatify and canonize her? Absolutely. Um, and uh, we did have the great honor and privilege of, of visiting with Holy Father, uh, Pope Francis. So we were invited to screen the film at the Vatican. Holy Father has seen the film. And um, he's been deeply moved by sister story he was not aware of all of her works but um he would you know i actually had a conversation with holy father about this and told him about the great love that the Honduran community has for sister and all that she has done and um he said i, I i'm for it you should get started right away which is why i love holy father because no, you know, grass does not grow on his under his feet. And um, this is what the call to action is. This is what God calls us to do, to take immediate action. And so um, Holy Father did say, I'm going to call the Cardinal down there and tell him I'm for it and he should get started. And so, yes, uh, you know, the Catholic Church, uh, you know, I, I have it from his authority that they're behind this. And, and um, one day, because I know it is a long, long process. Uh, hopefully we will have a, you know, uh, a saint in Central America. It would be the first woman saint in Latin America. And how joyous would that be? Well, that's amazing. And, you know, sometimes it takes uh, a little movement to get going with it. And I think your documentary with this light obviously is going to kind of introduce people to her. Uh, probably even in Honduras, people are learning about her uh, through this this uh, documentary. So uh, I think that's the beginning stages and you are getting started then. And uh, now the church will have to catch up and uh, yeah, hopefully people will visit her grave. They'll receive graces. Uh, I'm a big proponent of visiting the graves of holy men and women. So uh, with this light, it's a Spanish documentary with English subtitles uh, and it's coming to theaters. And so can you tell us a little more how people, if they're very interested in learning more about Sister Maria Rose and uh, this documentary, how they can watch the movie or the, the film. Absolutely. So it's coming to select theaters August 11th, and it will be on various video platforms August 15th across the nation and Canada. And you can go to withthislight.com where you can learn more about Sister and her mission, as well as all the events we have coming up about the film. And if you want to bring it to your community, we also offer community screenings. And so you can um, work with us and we will bring the film directly to your community. Yeah, and pardon my ignorance on this. Uh, when it releases on August 11th, is this uh, a part of one of the uh, Fathom events here in the United States? Is it partnered through them? 
No, it's not. We're um, actually doing it through, uh, we're, we're doing it with um, individual theaters. So it, it'll be in four different cities. It'll be in New York, Chicago, LA, and New Orleans. Uh, but again, if people want to do something like rent out a theater, uh, they can give us, they can connect with us at withislight.com and our outreach team will help people uh, coordinate with a theater near them where they can also do that. Well, that's great. I'm always about learning about these holy men and women who can inspire us uh, to be better followers and disciples of Jesus. And you've introduced me to Sister Maria Rose, and I can't wait for others to learn her story. So if you're in those select markets, go see it on August 11th. And thanks so much for your time today and sharing and for the good work you've done to promote this holy nun. Thank you, Thank Father, you Father Edward. Edward.